32-year-old Andrew Warrender walked through Turnberry Towers at Paradise Road in Karen Avenue with an AR-15 style rifle on the afternoon of June 23rd. According to Metropolitan Police, Warrender had an uncle living in a complex which allowed him easy access inside. After entering the building and grabbing a rifle from inside of his uncle's condominium, Warrender made his way through the building. Surveillance video shows Warrender walking down multiple stairs, through hallways, and even using elevators while armed. Eventually, Warrender makes it all the way to the lobby on the first floor. Quote, Andrew is walking around with an AR-15 style rifle in his hand and a helmet on. Warrender opened fire in the lobby and pointed his rifle at employees hiding behind the front desk. Police records state that Warrender could only fire off one shot before the rifle jammed. As Warrender worked to fix the malfunction, a Turnberry Towers employee stepped into action and fired back, striking Warrender several times in his leg and stomach. Warrender was heard in video falling to the ground and was heard screaming from the pain. The employee then approached Warrender and holds him at gunpoint until police arrive. A grand jury indicted Warrender several months after he was released from the hospital. Warrender is set to stand trial in February. Now, I just want y'all to very much understand that Warrender had access. Um, the video that is going to be posted directly to the IG. Warrender was able to get through. He had access. He was clearly out in broad daylight walking with a weapon um it wasn't hidden or anything of the sort he was just walking casually like this is just an everyday thing you were able to see you know two women walk directly um in front of him some you know some feet ahead for whatever reason they magically did not i guess see it or perceive it as some type of a threat or thought that maybe something was wrong and he proceeded with the access that he has by way of one of his family members at the condominium. Um, I'm sorry, at the towers. He proceeded to go directly into the whole area, right? The whole tower, walking through stairs, waiting for elevators. Again, he's out in the open. So for whatever reason, nobody found this weird is baffling to me. I mean, I know why it is, because if it was me and I was walking through that area, somebody would have stopped me. The FBI, CIA, Interpol would have been directly on me. I would not even be alive. But somebody like Warrender, he's able to do this because this is a normal type of thing. Nobody's going to really think that, oh, he's going to do something with that, right? Because they're not going to perceive him as a threat because he is one of them, right? And because they value their own lives, they're looking at him as like, okay, I know you value you know, our lives because we're basically both the same. So we know that you're not going to do anything to you know harm us. Now, if you were anybody else different that looked way differently than us, then that's a whole different thing, right? And then he proceeds to draw the weapon up and fire directly at the front desk at a receptionist. And luckily, this man is not a crack shot because he missed like the woman was able to you know get behind cover you know i, I think i want to say possibly before the bullet even reached you know her area and then luckily the gun jammed and then after it jammed he proceeded to try to walk directly out proceeding to i think further try to unjam the gun and this is when the security guard ran through and gave him that alec bought one now how it is that the security guard managed to hit him that many times and didn't hit nothing vital is beyond me. Because the most interesting thing is that he's going to stand trial and that Bell was posted. He's out. He is free. This is a person that went into an area, was like, hey, I'm going to decide to do this. They gave this man a bail and he posted and I wonder who did that. I guess that more than likely is his family. Notice how that works. So where is the outcry? Where is the outrage about this? Because his trial isn't up until February. That's a long ways away at this moment in time. That's many days where anything can just so happen to transpire. And I didn't just so happen to hear any type of stipulation when it dealt with him being able to get out of those sales. 
They didn't state that, oh, he's a flight risk. They didn't state that, oh, he needs an ankle monitor. They didn't state that he needs to be under high surveillance. They didn't state none of that. They just let him post and let him be free. And where is the media outcry? Where is the outrage specifically about this in this situation? Nowhere. Complete silence. Complete and utter silence. That's ridiculous. Like I said before, um, you know, the system that we have, it, it doesn't care about life. This is proof of that. It does not care about life. When you go on IG and you go, you know, look at that video, you will clearly understand that the system that is here does not care about life. They care about chaos. They care about everything that is going to develop and be enveloped by way of that chaos. That's it. Saving lives is not on the itinerary for today. It is not. Because realistically, uh, this shooter, he should not be here. He should not be out in the public. He shouldn't be out here uh, enjoying the sunlight, being able to see what, what's the next movie that's going to be coming out from now up until February. He, he, he shouldn't be able to do that. But like I said before, um, you know, certain people get certain protections when it deals with this society. And that shows it. 